This video is sponsored by EV, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform. Hey everyone, you are Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel then hello and welcome. Take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we're going to look at the total cost of ownership of a Tesla Model 3 over 5 years versus a Toyota Camry. We're going to do that and much more right after this. Hey everyone, welcome back and uh, some of you may have seen my original video with the total cost of ownership of a Tesla Model 3 versus a similarly priced car in a Mercedes-Benz C200. I got quite good feedback about that video and uh, thank you for all your comments and I asked everyone what was the next car you wanted me to compare to. So today we're going to go back to the same website from the New South Wales government and I'll leave a link to that website in the description below. But it's essentially a comparison site to help you decide whether an electric vehicle is right for you, looking at the total cost of ownership over a number of years. So let's check it out together right now. Transport for New South Wales website. Let's have a look. Total cost of ownership. Let's read this through together. When buying a car, many people focus on the upfront purchase price and EVs can be more expensive to buy compared to an internal combustion engine vehicle equivalent. If you look at the whole of life costs or total cost of ownership TCO of a vehicle, EVs can be a more cost effective option, giving the greater cost running savings. Total cost of ownership calculator. Let's have a look. So let's set our location. That's Australia. Let's, uh, interestingly, let's have a look at the other countries. Ah, oh, look, there's one for the UK as well. That's very interesting. So interesting. I might do a comparison for uh, the UK in another video if you want me to. Uh, let's have a look at our postcode. So let's put Chatswood 2067 where the Tesla service center is. Let's click next. All right, so we are going to compare today a battery electric vehicle in a Tesla Model 3 2021 edition SR Plus 66900 RRP with a battery range of 415 kilometers and fuel consumption of 13 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Let's compare today to a petrol Toyota Camry. Toyota Camry right there. And they've only got a 2019 Ascent version to compare it to. 2019 Toyota Camry, 27,790 RRP, fuel consumption of 8 litres per 100 kilometres. You know, people are always asking me, what's it really like to own a Tesla? How long does it take to charge? Does it really go that fast? Can you go on a road trip? And that's when I say to them, why wonder when you can check it out for yourself? Because now with EV, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform, you can really experience what it's like to own a Tesla beyond a short test drive. With EV, you can rent a car for a few days to try before you buy, maybe even over the weekend for a quick road trip somewhere, or use it as a gift to surprise that special someone who's always talking about Teslas. You know exactly what I mean. So go to ev.com.au forward slash Tesla Tom and use my code Tesla Tom at the checkout for $30 off your first rental. With an ever-growing fleet of Tesla and electric vehicles to rent, there's sure to be an EV car near you. And now, for the rest of the video. Alright, let's click next. Alright, let's have a look here. So, by the way, this site's very uh, customizable, so there's lots of options you can click and play with and figures you can input for yourself, depending on your situation. So let's see, where and when you drive, your driving habits and where you can charge make a big difference to the expense of owning a car. Let us know how far you drive each year or use the advanced form to really personalize your estimate. Okay, well to start with, let's just go with their settings, but I will put in an approximate total annual distance of let's say 20,000 kilometers, which is how much I drive approximately. Let's click next. Uh, powering your electric car, solar panels, home batteries and electric cars work well together, paying off your energy investments sooner, see what a difference they can make to your costs. So for now I'm just going to put no solar, no battery, we'll come back to this and add that later on. Let's press submit. Alright, let's have a look at the results, drum roll please. Alright, 5 year analysis between a Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus versus a 2019 Toyota Camry Ascent Auto. 5 year analysis. 
Okay, so let's have a look. Total on-road costs $69,392 for the Model 3 versus $28,671 for the Toyota Camry. So up front straight away, of course, the Model 3 is more expensive. You obviously need to front up more capital to buy the car versus a Camry, which is literally less than half the price to start with. But how does it compare over five years? So let's have a look at the monthly running costs to start with. And by the way, that includes... Um, servicing tires taxes duties and fuel which i assume includes registration fees as well fuel obviously takes up a massive chunk of the monthly running cost so for the model 3 it's 130 dollars and 94 cents versus 367 dollars and 52 cents for the toyota camry you can also customize how expensive fuel is as well and i'll go through that later on and of course if you're into the environmental impact of both cars the tesla model 3 Charging on the grid, by the way, without solar or battery, uh, will cost you 10.51 tons over five years versus uh, 44.17 tons over five years for the Camry. So four times higher for the Camry. So depreciation, now this is really controversial, uh, and uh, there were a lot of comments about this in my last video with the Mercedes-Benz comparison. Depreciation for the Model 3, according to the New South Wales government website, is $48,101. Now, to be fair, uh, there's actually no data over five years, even in America, for the Tesla Model 3, because it hasn't really been out that long uh, since it was first released in the wild. Even more so in Australia. We only got this car in 2019, so we've only had two years of data so far. If you look at the cars for sale uh, on sites like carsales.com and even the inventory cars on the Tesla website, um, they haven't depreciated that much over the years, maybe at the most 5 to 10%. Um, but to be fair, we're still early in the piece and it will be interesting to see how much it depreciates over five years. I guess uh, in defense of the New South Wales government website, which by the way, I don't work for, I have no interest in this site at all, financially or otherwise, they can really only work on similarly priced cars, which is why the depreciation between the Model 3 and the Mercedes-Benz was so similar uh, at about $48,000, $45,000 between the two cars. Um, the Toyota Camry in comparison will only depreciate $20,000 uh, in five years. Uh, so in five years time, this car will cost $8,000. And uh, I guess they've got lots of data on the Camry, so we can reliably say that's gonna that's pretty accurate, I would say. And uh, But look at the difference in fuel. That, that This is massive. Like, in terms of fuel, the Model 3, and fuel obviously covers both liquid fuel and, you know, electrons from uh, electricity. It's going to cost you $2,643.05 on average to fill up your uh, Model 3 over the next five years versus almost $12,000 for the Toyota Camry uh, for a similar distance over five years. So what we're looking at like four to five times uh, the difference in pricing for fuel. In terms of taxes, it's $5,382 for taxes versus $3,771. I believe this is registration. Uh, here we go. It says uh, luxury car tax, stamp duty, uh, standard license plate fee, uh, annual registration fees include rego fees, motor vehicle tax, and other road worthiness fees. I'm not sure there's too much luxury car tax on this price, $69,000, because the threshold for a green vehicle in Australia is about $77,000 in 2021. Uh, so it's a little bit higher for taxes and duties versus the Camry, not too much. So the figure that we're all interested in, the five-year cost-to-own figure for the Tesla Model 3 is $55,957 versus the Toyota Camry at $42,032 over five years, uh, which is a 55.96 uh, cents per kilometer for the Model 3 versus 42.03 cents per kilometer for the Toyota Camry. So that's really interesting. So even just looking at the face of it without playing with the uh, settings in terms of how many kilometers you drive, whether you've got solar and battery and all that, it's $13,000 difference over five years despite being more than double the initial cost when you first buy the car, which is really interesting. And if you can justify in your mind that if you're happy to fork over $13,000 more over five years, you can get a Tesla Model 3 over a Toyota Camry if you look at the total cost of ownership over five years. All right, so that's the first part of the video done with the default settings from the government website. Let's be a little bit fancy and play with some of the settings ourselves. So what we can do is actually add Home Solar. Uh, and the default is a 7 kilowatt array. So let's scroll down here. And uh, you can see there's not too much difference. It was about $55,000 for the Model 3. It's dropped down to $54,000.
But if you've got solar, you can see that it has made it a little bit more compelling. So it's now a $12,000 difference uh, for a Model 3. And it also takes into account the depreciation for the energy assets as well, which is great. Uh, only $1,000 uh, less for the solar panels, which is good. And your monthly running costs drops as well. So let's just scroll back up and I might just take this off so I can show you. So monthly running costs drops from $130.94 down to, with solar, $111.97. And uh, your, obviously your carbon footprint decreases as well. So it's from 10 tons to 5 tons, so half the carbon footprint with, uh, with the home solar, which is great. Uh, if you own a home battery, your monthly running costs drop even more. So without a battery, one, 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 uh, with solar rather, 111. If you add a battery, it's 94. And this is a 4 kilowatt hour system, which is pretty small. A Tesla Power 2 is 13. As you can see, your carbon footprint drops even more. Uh, down to 1.47 tons with a battery and uh, the cost of ownership doesn't drop too much uh, let's see but without the battery is 54819 with the battery 53766 so it drops by another thousand dollars so we're looking at a uh, eleven thousand dollar difference now between the model 3 and the camry let's have a look at the settings for uh, the driving distance and petrol so petrol price of $1.26, yeah, okay, we'll leave it at that because, um, yeah, it does fluctuate obviously week to week in Sydney, but uh, we'll leave it at that, that's fine. Uh, electricity tariff, yeah, off peak of 12 cents, that's very reasonable. Uh, daily charge of 91 per day, 91 cents per day. Uh, number of years of ownership, five years, that's fine. Percentage of green power, 50%, that's good. Uh, let's have a look at, oh, well, let's press submit to start with. Let's have a look at the driving settings. So 50 kilometers in a weekday, yeah, that's about right. Weekend 50 as well. Annual road trip, let's say 500. We wanna go a bit further in New South Wales. Uh, do I have a private parking space? Yes. Do I have a free charger at work? No. 50-50 uh, at home uh, between eight and six and not, and on weekends as well. Let's press submit. Let's see if there's a difference. Um, so, uh, interesting. So it actually increases to 56,000 for the Model 3 with those settings versus 42 for the Toyota Camry. Uh, let's add home solar. Let's add the battery. And again, not too much difference. So I think you can safely say, I might just take this off here. Solar and battery. So I think you can safely say these are the figures you can work with in general uh, if you don't have solar and battery for the Model 3 and the Camry. So it's about $55,000, $56,000 for the standard range plus Model 3 versus $42,000 for the Toyota Camry. So let's just say round up to say $13,000, $14,000 difference between the Tesla and the Toyota. If you're looking at a five-year ownership difference, if you're justifying it to yourself whether it's worth buying a Tesla Model 3. Sure, there's a high upfront cost, but that gap certainly narrows over time. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. That was my comparison video between a Tesla Model 3 and a Toyota Camry. If you're looking at the differences between them in the total cost of ownership, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already yet. And uh, leave a comment below, please. Uh, which car would you like me to compare next? Uh, I know there were some recommendations to maybe compare the Tesla to another electric vehicle, like say the MG ZS EV, which is the cheapest electric car on the market in Australia at the moment. Maybe I'll do that one next. Uh, or if you've got another recommendation or suggestion, please leave that in the comments below as well. All right, guys, take care. Until the next video, stay safe. And as always, happy charging.